Hello everyone and blessed be. <clears throat> this is the October um, Witch's Roots subscription box. Uh, for me it's $29 including shipping here in the U.S. And I have to say I've loved each of the boxes that I've gotten in the past months. And because it's October, I'm really excited to see what's inside this one. I'll put uh, the information to their website down in the description. I'm just going to get started. Ooh. It does come in a discreet mailer. Move that off to the side. And this is going to tell us all the information, so I'll wait on that. And I'm going to take the artwork out and then move the box. So, we have a beautiful Hamsa. Um, I love this. I love the artwork. I love the size of it. Um... Let me take a look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love the Hamsa. I love it. I know um, face or fingers up is protection. And uh, fingers down, I think, is... Um, I'm not going to lie. I can't remember that one because I always use it uh, fingers up. <clears throat> but it's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. I have a stone from India with a hamsa on it beautiful and ooh, this is motherwort and this tells all about motherwort look at that picture look at that can you see that I love that Hopefully you can read all that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, then let's unveil and take a peek. There's our peek. <laughs> okay, so first thing we have is, um, I don't know, this is kind of peach color, I would think. With a little stone in it. Very sparkly stone. Um, trying to get you to, so you can see. Whoops. That, that rainbow in there. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not sure what it is. But it is beautiful. I love that. Next, we have motherwort. I think this is actually one I do not have. So that's exciting. Um, and I'll read up more about that for our herbal cabinet. So, let me see. Mmm, it smells good. Take a look at it. Looks, um, very... Not bark-like, um... But it looks cool. It smells... It smells really good. Some herbs do not smell so good. <laughs> That's okay. They always have good uses. They just don't always smell so great. That that smells good. And let's see. We have our incense sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I love oh. Mmm. That is really good. It's really soft. I don't, I'm not going to try to guess, but that smells really good. And let's see. We have our candle. I love this size. 
It's a great size. <laughs> I mean, I always fail at trying to open these. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous purple. So it's ha uh, hand rolled beeswax. I'm loving the color. I don't think there's a scent to it. I think sometimes they just pick up the scent from the box. But I love that color. And then... Looks like three more things. So we have something bubble wrapped here. Uh, uh, uh. I struggle. There. And this says Samhain Magical, I think it's Magical Anointing Oil. Chucked full of goodies. Lots of good stuff floating around in there. Um, not a lot of scent, which, you know what, I like. <laughs> and I really uh, like things um, less scented. Just like the candles. I wish all of these kind of candles came in unscented. But, you know, that's just me. So we got two more things here, I think. Unless this is a dropper. But I don't think. Nope. Ooh. It's a pendulum. Oh my god, I love pendulums so much. Um Rose Quartz. I'm not sure if these are just, you know, regular beads or if they're a stone. I'm sure it will tell us. That is good size. Uh, freaking love pendulums. Let's see. Show me yes. Trying to hold my hand really still. Show me yes. There it goes. It's so hard not to make it look like my hand is moving. Anyhow, beautiful, and um, I feel energy off of it already. I'm usually not a rose quartz person, but I am loving the energy off of that. And then our last item is, uh, I get like a coin, token, talisman, um... So it has a goddess. I love it because it, it's got that hammered look to it. It's very cool. It's got the moons up there, triple moons. And then on the back, it says dream. Well, yes, thank you. I think I will. So, now we're going to move on and see what the paper says about it. So, the theme is the Guided Seer. And it says, um, I'll just read a little bit. During this beautiful season of reconnection, deep traveling, and divination, we work towards having helpful tools close by to assist us during these dark and most spiritual nights. As someone approaches, we begin to obtain the heightened sense of self and spirit, knowing that the veil is thinning. And then I'll let you read the rest. So, talks about um, Mother Wart, an appropriate herb to work with during Samhain. Mother Wart is an ancestral plant and is known and recognized for its wonderful magical properties by many cultures and religions from around the world. 
Um, and then the motherwort um, artwork. And they have partnered with a very talented local artist to create exclusive, an exclusive piece of artwork to honor motherwort. And then, oh, so it's rose quartz with moonstones. So these are moonstones. Love that. To assist you during this time, we have included a wonderful and finely crafted rose quartz and moonstone pendulum. Although there are many ways to use the sacred tool, we have placed this pendulum within this collection to help you receive yes or no answers, as well as assisting you in establishing a connection with the spirit realm around you. Okay. And then the Dream Goddess Pewter Coin. Love that hammered look. Um, I lost my place. We have included a small and powerful goddess coin for you to carry with you during this season, reminding you of the great power held within the feminine aspects of the Divine Goddess. So, oh, this is a, a tumbled... Aura Rose Quartz. So pretty. Uh, although you may only think that someone may provide a night of connection with ancestors and guides, we commonly find that we find deep healing within each practice and ritual. We have included a tumbled Aura Rose Quartz to keep with you or place among your altar during this time to enhance healing and gentle energies. Sorry, it's just sometimes hard to read over the, these uh, letters, so. Very pretty. Sanctuary Ritual Incense. Um, so it doesn't say what the smell is. It smells really good. To bring a sense of calm and tranquility. I do think maybe there is some lavender smell in there. Or something that um, smells like lavender. The Samhain Magical Anointing Oil. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intentions of enhancing the energies that surround you. That you may receive relevant messages and signs during this season. This is a wonderful oil to anoint magical tools with, as well as statues, coins, and talismans that may be used on these nights. And it has more information. And then the Hamsa. So the Hamsa Handbook of Shadows reference page. This beautiful Hamsa reference page holds wonderful information regarding the sacred and meaningful amulet. Placed with it, placed within your book of shadows for reference. Um, so I'm gonna let you read this. Hopefully you can read that all. And then, um. I'm, I'm going to be very honest. Uh, it doesn't seem as cohesive as some of the past boxes I got. Uh, I have pretty high expectations for a witchy box in October. Um, Samhain is witch's new year. And this doesn't really seem <clears throat> cohesive as far as the bits even together and doesn't feel very sound to me. Um, <clears throat> but that's just me. Everybody is welcome to their own opinion. I am not throwing shade, but I paid for this, so I'm going to say how I feel. Uh, had this been a box and then I still would have wondered where this plays into 
anything here. Um, I get HAMSA, I get fingers up as protection and things like that. So I get that. I guess I'm just going to leave it at that. It does not seem very cohesive to me. Although the ones, the past boxes have been incredibly cohesive with the theme and things like that. And it just really doesn't scream Samhain at me. Um, however, with that said, my um, favorite items are going to be these two. I love this deep purple and I love I love me a good beeswax candle and I am just who I am loving the energy on this so um, that's my real and honest opinion and I love the hammered look on that I just think that's so cool but if you get this box what did you think about it um, what were your favorite things in here? And if you don't get the box, what did you think about this as far as, um, the things I've said? Again, no shade, just my honest opinion. I paid for the box, so I'm going to do that. And I'm still going to keep this box because I have really enjoyed the past boxes. I do enjoy the things in here. Um, I just stick by what I said on the other parts of it. But anyhow, um, I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe, and I'm going to go upload this video for you to watch. Thanks, and blessed be.